Okay, let's begin the uh, scan process. And it starts out with a uh, a capture. The camera captures a 2D image of the model. And this is used for alignment purposes. Uh, but I imagine that since the images are captured at a fixed distance on a um, rotating platen, that the photographs could probably be sewn together using a photogrammetric uh, process. Uh, now, the cam now the scanner is actually capturing the 3D data. The scanner then generates uh, three-dimensional points and it does sort of the uh, depth processing and it produces the first scanned image that looks uh, as you see before you hear. And once again, even while it's scanning, uh, you can view both the, um, you can see both the textured model, you can see an example of it in um, solid mode here, you can view it as wireframe, okay, and also as a point cloud. So you can see this uh, as, it, as it forms. Um, I'm going to um, suspend this and uh, I'm going to load in a file that shows uh, uh, the completed sort of scan setup for the work that we are, that we are, are doing. Here. Okay, this is a completed uh, scan project and um, I'm going to use this project to go over the next step in the scanning process, which is the align process. Uh, in the first portion of the tutorial, we're going to do an alignment within a scan family. And then we're going to, uh, in the second portion of the tutorial, we're going to do a trim operation. And then we're going to align uh, within uh, the second family, and then we're going to attach it to the first. And I, I know that sounds like a little really circular discussion, but this is scan family B, and this is uh, scan family B is here. Whatever family's in this green area is the current one. I can pull this out. I can put that one in, and that sort of denotes which family is the current family or the active family in the window. And you notice that in this family, I turn it over on its side, and we can still see some of the uh, some of the leftover uh, information from the scanning process. I've already, when we look at this family, I've already trimmed uh, this family so that uh, it's ready for alignment. Okay, and so let's talk about uh, aligning. Aligning is the way that we uh, join our individual scans together. It's a methodology that we use to join our individual scans together. And I'm going to uh, open up Scan Family B. And I can go up here and I can expand that out like so. Um, uh, but I'm going to open up this family. And this shows all of the individual uh, scans that comprise uh, this family. And let me open up uh, A and we can look at the individual scans. Now, in order to perform the alignment, what you generally like to do is like you like to find um, an element that has like a lot of the details in your model and I'm going to pull this one out like so and I'm going to go over to align. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to align this first within this scan family and we need three pins in order to do that. Now this is where turning on your texture mode might be helpful, okay? Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this pin right here and put it on that spot and it zooms into that one. I'm going to do it on the same spot there. I'm going to move this over. So that's one. Um, I'm going to choose the spot right here. I like to choose spots that are far apart. I'm going to move that over like there. I'm going to put this one over here. Let's move this over here like so. Move that down into there like that. That's two. 
and I'm going to find a third spot. So we're going to turn this around here. And I'm going to use this spot right over here. There. Align that there. And I'm going to align it to the spot over there. Move that in there like so. So we have the three spots. And that's the minimum we need. But I'm going to add one more just for a good measure. And just to show that you can. I'm going to zoom this out. And I'm going to put one over here on the cheek. Right there. And because I have that information there. And then I'm going to come over here and attach those scans. Okay. And then the model's aligned uh, to within one hundredth of an inch. And I'm going to refine this. And now it's aligned to within a thousandth of an inch. And I can look at that family and it's aligned. But you note that I still have a lot of holes in the top because one of the things that the scanner does have problems with, it has problems with um, those areas um, where there is, uh, where there are 90 degree transitions. When you have areas that fall out from the scanner, usually it's those areas that have sharp 90 degree um, transition. That's the basic overview of sort of the alignment process.